Well, good morning. Today we're in Skagway and we're getting ready to take a rail. Um, I think it's a 40 mile uh, ride and see some of the scenic um, countryside. So we're gonna take you guys along for the ride. Built in 1898 during the Klondike Gold Rush, the White Pass and Yukon Route is an engineering marvel. Today we're going to climb an elevation of about 3,000 feet in just 20 miles and take in the views of the mountains, the glaciers, gorges, and waterfalls. The Klondike Gold Rush was a migration by an estimated 100,000 prospectors. The Gold Rush changed Skagway in that they opened many saloons and stores to cater to the prospectors' needs. One of the famous saloons is called the Red Onion. Good morning. This is the Tonga National Park, and it's the largest rainforest in the entire world. It has 17 million acres. Can you imagine? And the river here is fed by melted glacier water. That's why it has that unique color, the turquoise with the milky uh, color mixed in. This is the top of White Pass Summit. And this little lake here is 200 feet deep in some places. It was carved out by a glacier. Prospectors had to have a year's supply of food and it took them 20, 30 trips up the mountain to stockpile en enough food that they could stake their claim. You can't come to Skagway without at least popping your head in the Red Onion Saloon. It was built in 1897 and was operated as one of the more higher class bordellos. Today they serve lunch and the waitresses are pretty sassy, I'll say that, but we had a great time. And up on the surrounding up there is a bunch of porcelain potties. We just had lunch at the Red Onion and we had the best time. We're going to take in a few shops and then head back to the ship and we'll see you guys in the next port. 